All right, great things. This is your introduction to descriptive geometry. Now, we've done a little bit of exercise in class, but uh, if you've missed that, then this is still going to be helpful. So, descriptive geometry is where we... Well, I, I taught you now to use words, name, but we, you are going to be given certain lines and you need to have understanding of where they are in space. We're talking about, in, in this section, three main surfaces. If you look at this 3D view here, they've given us in 3D a dot A that's been placed in space, okay? I don't want to say space like galaxies, just space like um, in front of your desk, all right? You can use your desk as it. The green here is the horizontal plane. Take a pen and write there, horizontal plane. And Afrikaans is the horizontale vlak. Okay? Horizontale vlak. Dit is hier die groen hier. Okay. The orange here is like a wall. That is a vertical plane. Okay? Verticale vlak. And the blue would be an auxiliary plane. Now, how many of you have heard these terms used in solid geometry, the previous chapter? We used these terms. We t spoke about an auxiliary plane. Now you actually understand where it comes from. So they've given us a point A, and they've said, is, if I look at it, <coughs> From the front, remember, I drew this x, y in here for you, okay? This x, y is in fact this x, y here. Does that make sense to you? And so if I look at this x, y to the front of this dot, <coughs> that dot is a certain di distance away from the auxiliary plane, which is this x1, y1. Okay, so take your time. There they've given it to me. This dot away from that auxiliary plane, that's the distance. Sorry, sorry. Okay, that's the distance there. So once I've done this, it's going to make sense. I can go place that distance there. Okay. And draw a construction line. That distance of a dot. We're not talking even about the line. That distance is constant. There, there, there. It is the same distance away from this auxiliary plane. And this auxiliary plane here is actually indicated by another xy. X1, y1. Okay. So there it is. Take your time and think with me, that distance, okay, from that x, y, make a dot. So you can see there, the same distance, same distance, okay, is this line running down here. Now, if I look at it from the front, if I look at it from the front, I'm going to see this x, y, keep up with me. You're going to see that x, y, there it is, and you'll see the orange. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see this blue as a line. If I look at it directly from the front, <coughs> which is that XY line. Don't, don't worry about that blue now. And so I can take the height above this horizontal plane. There's the height above the horizontal plane. Keep up with me. Above that XY, make a dot. And that there is position of that dot in the front view, if I look at it from here. Okay, if I look at it from the front, then that dot has a height to it, there it is. And it's got a distance away from that XY, remember that XY represents now this whole surface, there it is. And it's the same here, same there. So there's A in the front view. Let's just quickly do it from the top. If I look at it from the top now. 
Does this distance change? Same. But now I have to see how far it is in front of the vertical plane. Now this x, y axis that goes through here is still the same axis. I'm just looking at it now from the top. You see, it's one axis. Looking from the top, now I take in front of that. Okay. Where am I going? I'm going to go down here. There's A now in the top view. So that there is the front view. Don't matter if you do, this is the top view. <coughs> now if I look from the left hand side, okay, now that X, Y is again the line, that auxiliary view there is that blue, how far in front of that x, y is it? That distance there is that distance. And what you can do is you'll see you could project it from here via that 45. You've all done this, but you never maybe understood where it came from. So that distance. Sorry, there it is. Okay. It's the same. And the height is going to be the same as in the front. That's why I can project this one across. Call it A2. Do you see you've done this before? You've done 45. You've done a front view, top view. If it's nothing new, but now you understand where it comes from. So if we've done the three, it's one dot. But three views, a front view, top view, and a left view. Yes or no? Okay, the colors is there just to help you. Just take a deep breath. Don't stress. We're going to just do another one here. Okay? Just take a note here because this is kind of, there's a lot of lines here. But there's the main, there's the main line, A, B. What could... A and B could be a shadow, right? It's like a projection. If I have to take AB and I have to place it on the vertical plane, there it is. If I look from the top, that's going to be the shadow of it. If I look from the left hand side, there's the shadow of it. So now we're going to use a similar process. Take a deep breath and stay with me. If I look at it, this is the front view. If I look at it from the front, okay, that's my direction. Tell me the moment you're not with me, you say stop. Okay, keep with me. If I look from the front and I have to describe it for myself, tell me if I'm true. Uh, line A, B. A is above the horizontal plane. Do you agree with me? And I can measure how high that is. And B has a different height, but I can go measure what that is. So if I measure that, I can actually say it's um, from that X, Y. There's A. We're just going to do a construction line first. That's the height of A. It's going to be the same whether I look at it from the front or from the left. And the height of B, take, take your time. There it is. Okay, so we know it's on that height. Now I have to go determine the distance. So now I can go from that x, y, there's b. There's a. So there's a, there's b, and I now join it. Okay. In my top view, oh, sorry, I wanted to neaten that up, hold on. Okay, remember, this is my front view. In my top view, can B be any distance from, any other distance from X, Y than it is in the front view? 
No, it's going to be in line with that. Do you agree with me? Mm. Now, all what do I have to determine here now in the top view? I look from the top, what do I have to determine? Yes, help me. I already know, I already know the distance away from this auxiliary view. Okay, it's the same as in the front view. What, what is the thing that I need to determine here in the top view? Distance away from the vertical plane. There's the vertical plane now. So what's that distance? Look at where I go fetch it. That's a distance away from the vertical plane. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So I bring that down here. Dot. And there is the distance away for B. Okay? And I join them. It becomes A1, B1. And now to get the left view, how do I do that? I project B and A. So where A and A meets, A2. Where B and B meets, B2. And what do I do? Join them. For how many of you, the lights went on? Lights are on. Who, whose lights are on? Lights are off. Lights are off. So, don't be confused here. The one with the capitals is the actual line. Let's look at this one quickly. Okay. We'll do a different color here. There's AB. Okay. That is a projection of AB if I look from the front. Okay, so I can go get the A is this far away from that XY, which is here. That distance. And B. And that's going to be the same for the top view, so I can draw both of them in. Okay, and now what do I need for to complete this front view? How high it is above there? Third horizontal plane. There's A's height. Look at where I come back. That becomes my A. B. There's A, B. Now, the top view, I look from the top. I already have the distance away. That can't change now. I've projected down. But how far in front of this XY? This is the, how far in front of the vertical plane. Remember, I'm going to help you out now quickly again. That's A1. There's B1. You just have to get your language right. So that distance there is how far B is in front of the vertical plane. In the top view, in the top view, that XY is, oh, it's belangrijk. <coughs> in the top view, that XY is what plane? The vertical plane. In the front view, what is the role of the XY now? The horizontal plane. So it's the XY resembles, if I look at the front view, the horizontal plane. If I look at the top view, the it's like if I stand against the wall or in front. In the front view, this XY resembles the horizontal plane. In the top view, that same XY now represents the vertical plane. Okay, and now to get it here in the left, where B and B meets B2, where A 
and I meet IT. That's a lithium. <coughs> so that green line in the front view, here it is in the top view, here it is in the left view. Sorry, my voice has gone now. You've drawn this, but you maybe didn't understand it. Now I hope you understand it. So, I'll repeat myself. This is what's been known to you. You know this is the XY. We call it XY. And we know this is X1. Y1, yes or no? Okay. We knew the 45 already. <coughs> now we're saying, if this is the front view, that AB is above the horizontal plane. In the top view, <coughs> AB is on the, in the front. A is closer to the vertical plane than B is to the vertical plane. In the front, A is closer to the horizontal plane than B is to the horizontal plane. Okay? And that's the left view. <coughs> Alright. Okay, take time to, to re-watch this if you need to. Study this. I want you to figure out 9-2 by yourself. Alright, using the same principles. Alright, thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.